Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to show how to move margins, uh, or uh, well, not just margins, move guide marks and move images, uh, both background and layer images, to be able to change margin sides. So, for example, in the image that we have here, we have got a quarter inch margin as represented by our blue guidelines all the way around. And then what we want to do is actually move that bigger margin, the one on the left, we want to move it over to the right so that we have a double margin on the right which will account for binding on this page, page that will have the binding on the right hand side. But we've got our layout, our image and our text just where we want it so we want to be able to change that to shift everything over without losing our arrangement uh, and the relationships between those images and text and to do it in the easiest way possible without collapsing our layers because we want to re retain the ability to manipulate those layers in the future. So the first thing we want to do is we actually want to move this margin over to this side and all you have to do is make sure that you are on the move tool so click up here on the upper left and come over here and when you get on that guideline it's going to give you that little mark with arrows to the right and the left so if I click and pull that across I can just move it right over to the right hand side and so now I've got my double margin on the right hand side and I don't want you know for example this little piece right here of this flower to get cut off by that margin. So I want to shift everything over enough to the left that I'm able to clear this margin and retain all these relationships. Now down here in my layers palette I've got three layers. I've got the background photo and I have got two text layers. One text layer for the word shadow, one for the word highlight. So I want to move all these but what I want to do is to be able to retain the relationships. Now I could simply move each one individually or I could select them all and move them at the same time. Let's go through the individual ones first. So let's go up to highlight here make sure it's selected. So I'm still on move tool. So this word highlight is under the power of the move tool right now. Now I can do one of a couple of things. I can click on it and I can move it all around, right? But that, that makes it to where I'm kind of freehanding things and I want to be a little more precise. So I'm going to go back up here and undo that so that it goes back to its spot. I'm still on the move tool and now I'm going to use my keyboard arrows to move it, nudging it a pixel at a time to the left or the right. So I can move it just like that. It stays exactly where it is in terms of up and down, but I simply move it to the left as far as I want to. I can count the number of moves if I want to replicate that up above, or I can simply match it by looking at it. If I go too far, I hit the right arrow. I can go back. I can also use the up and the down. I can do the same thing on the background image if I select it. Still on the move tool move the whole thing gotta unlock the layer first and I can simply shift it over the whole image just like that. Now notice that it is only moving the background image, it's not you moving the text layers. I'm going to need to move those independently or I could select all three, making sure that they're unlocked. Let's undo that first. Let's go down here and select all these layers. So I select Highlight, hold down the Shift key, select Shadow, hold down the Shift key, select Layer 0. Still on the Move tool, all I have to do now is nudge the whole thing and everything will move together. And then, when I deselect them, I can go back and manipulate those layers independently just like I could before. 